All right, guys, Chef Craig here again, right back in the whole cook like a Bajan kitchen, and we're getting ready for another wonderful dish. We're doing a nice meat and potatoes dish. We're going to do some pork ribs, compliments, as his stores. We're going to pair that with a mashed potatoes, well, smashed potatoes, really. That's going to be infused with a little bacon, cheese, heavy cream, etc. and finish off with some nice cheesy broccoli. So we've got our water seasoned. We added some onion, Bajan seasoning, garlic, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, lime juice, pepper sauce, salt, pepper. We added all that in there and that's nicely seasoned already. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our pork, pork ribs. We're gonna get these prepped, seasoned, seared, and then get those boiling. We'll be back here, as I mentioned, water season, water boiling. It's time to work on our pork. But before that, we're gonna switch our pots. Allow this pot, the bigger, taller pot, to get some heat into it. We're gonna lower it down, but I chose a taller pot because we wanna have a rapid boil. So with a rapid boil and we're having it halfway up, we don't have that splatter boiling over, none of that kind of stuff. So now, pork, as you can see, Ribs are already sectioned. We're just simply going to cut through them. So we're just going to cut straight through. I'm going to keep the fat on because we're going to sear, get a nice render. Also the fat gives you some good tender, tenderization. Cut it into those nice ribs. Beautiful. So notice too, one hand just use the knife, all clean. This hand touch the pork. And we're gonna continue that way. Let me get this pork seasoned up. Our house spices, black pepper, not too much because for this dish, we're gonna use the mambo sauce from Swiss, which is kind of spicy and nice. We'll hit some salt, lime juice, and then the last thing will be our Bajan seasoning. I think for this one, we can add two basil seasoning, and we're gonna grab about four spoonfuls. Remember, we got some in the water already. All right, we get this all seasoned up. Remember, this is the hand. No pork, pork hand. We're gonna season it all up. And as I said, an absolutely wonderful cut of pork up in Massey stores. All right, all season, we can take a little break, get my house all washed and cleaned up, and then get the sport into a wonderful sear. All right, so hands all clean, time to continue cooking. So before we got into the seasoning, etc., I rendered some bacon, have that set aside, and I have the bacon fat here. We're gonna use some of it now, and then we're gonna use some of it for when we're doing our smashed potatoes. So bacon fat goes in, keep a little, there you go. So no time to waste, more than a little. We want a nice hard sear, start that caramelization, create some flavor for the boil and everything, and get our cooking process going. That's, that's what we want here. Use it, sift it. And we're gonna make sure we keep all of our flavor. 
All right, so while we got the searing going on and the cooking process started, we're going to set up, get our potatoes cooked because we're going to actually get our potatoes in with the pork, get all the flavors together, and then we get our dish built in different, different sections, then put it all together at the end. Pork searing off nicely, but again, let's let it take a little look. Come here, come here, come over here for me. See, that was what we're looking for. Nice sear going on. In the meantime, while we get the sear finish up, we're going to get our potatoes ready for our smashed potatoes. Simple, slice our potatoes lengthwise in three. And we're keeping the skin on because this is a rustic, rustic smashed potato. Because when we add the water, that's going to cook the potatoes well, get that flavor in there from the pork. Caramelization going on, potatoes in, we can smell it dancing, it's time to get this seasoned water into the pot. All right, water in. That's what we're talking about. Here at ProSecure Distributors, we have a variety of apparel that every chef needs. From anti-slip shoes to aprons in a variety of colors and sizes. And full sets. Call us at 436-1802 or visit us in Tudor Street, Bridgetown. Potatoes boiling, ribs boiling, time to prep our broccoli, right? And we're gonna just pre-cook these in our same boiling pot. So we got we got an inadvertent one pot today. Then we're going to then take apart afterwards. So right into the pot. Allow them to get a quick boil, quick pre-cook, and then out of the pot to sit. And we're going to get our cream sauce, our cheesy cream sauce, all prepped and ready for our broccoli. We're going to take out who's ready. Get them in here. See, that's ready. Maybe this one is as well, also ready. Yep. But we still want them to have a bit of a bite. Potatoes are finished. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just smash them now. And then we're gonna toss with butter, bacon, etc. for our plate. We just wanna, as I said, smash it up. Smash it up while it's hot. So then you can add your flavors, add your heavy cream if you're using any, that kind of stuff and that is nice. So while that sits, we're gonna cut our onion up for our cheesy broccoli. We're gonna add some onion in there as well where we caramelize the, um, saute with the butter. We're gonna grate our cheese and everything and get our sauce ready for our, our broccoli. We're going rustic all the way. Well, as rustic as possible. Go straight through. Slice our onion. Then some big dice. We want texture, body, flavor. So this can go right over here. Gonna get some parsley. Quick chop. That is perfect. Put it on top. A little bit of garlic. Good. Smash that. Good. As I said, rustic. The last thing to chop. Right in half. And then we cut those up. All right, let's grate our cheddar cheese. All right. Relish. See you again. That should be enough. Cheese on the board. All right, potatoes almost finished smash. We're going to get our sauce ready for our broccoli. We're going to add bacon fat again because we're keeping the pork flavor all the way through onion garlic fresh herbs spring onion all goes in so we want to caramelize take a good piece of cheese go back there we want to caramelize salty or sweat anything like that you know what we just sweat them i sweat them basically no caramelization cook 
but it keeps the natural color. And just sweat them down. And at this point too, we're going to get our butter in, load out the melt, get our flavors built. So this goes in, butter. So, anchor butter, we've got the salt in, and working with flavor on top of flavor. We're just pulling our items closer. First, as we mentioned, Swiss mambo sauce, which is a spicy, sweet, and slightly tart sauce. And then our honey, just to combat with the spice, sweet, and heat. And, Mount Gear, silver, white rum. We can add that to our broccoli cream sauce. And then, obviously, anchor heavy cream. So bacon now goes right in, please. As I mentioned, would be some of the butter and onion. What we're going with now, turn this back up. A little bit of black pepper. Potato, onions, garlic, butter, anchor butter, all of that right in there. Now, you're gonna get a little bit of Mount Gear Silver. Add a little. I don't know if it's getting light. Allow that to reduce a little bit and you can see the difference in the color already. Next step, anchor. Make a heavy cream. This goes in. And then, cheese in. And as I said, if we need to adjust any flavor, we can do that afterward. No more black pepper, no more spice because we got all the spice we need right here with this mambo sauce. You can't mess with anchor cheddar cheese here. Honestly, we need no more salt, none, zero. MassiCard credit card has gone digital. Download the new eWallet by MassiCard app that gives MassiCard credit card holders more power to scan to pay, earn Massey points, send credit, Thanks, man. Pay bills and so much more. That's awesome. Easy, instant, and secure from your smartphone. Go digital with the free e-wallet by Massey Card app. Now available on Google Play or the Apple App Store. It's hot enough in here. <laughs> I can tell you that like that poor behaving bad. But in the meantime, broccoli in the sauce. I don't know how it'll drip in too. Don't worry about that. Let's toss it up. And we have our anchor cream, heavy cream and cheddar cheese. Looks beautiful. We'll load out a sit, relax, get happy. Cheesy broccoli, finish the rest out to the side. Move those pots out. We brought up our pork. We're gonna sear the pork off slightly now no, that's fully cooked. Glaze in our mambo sauce with a hint of honey and then plate it all up. Right, so I just came back over here, put some heat back onto our smashed potatoes. We get ready to plate up. Look, look. Mambo, honey, pork, ribs, finish, cheesy broccoli. It's time to plate up. We're getting right back in the center. Mashed potatoes in the center. And, and this, this is a real plate. This is one that if you ain't able with, get the help from a friend, some family, something. All right, that's enough. Right down in the middle. And then with these now, you're going to cross with, I think I'm put three right, but I ain't know. We get work with two. We don't want to run ourselves into trouble. We're going the wrong. The mambo, the broccoli, he can be here for himself. Cheesy broccoli, right here, right there. Don't move it. One more piece. Get some more sauce. A little bit of old school. Like you can't go wrong with old school. A little parsley, right on top. So there you have it. This is. A uh, mambo honey 
glazed pork rib. We finished off with a good old cheesy broccoli using the Ica cream, Ica cheese. And then at the bottom, we have that smashed potato. Nice Idaho potatoes, compliments, massive stores, caramelized bacon, onions, etc., etc. And as I said before, I am Chef Craig. This is how to cut the cabbage, in, and that is some proper pork. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dwayne Williams, better known to the mixology world as Mr. Bozo. Also, Mongay International reigning champion for the Craft Plate International Cocktail. And today, I step up to the plate to create a cocktail for you called 80 for 6. And everyone knows Dwayne Williams live in Mongay as your own. And also, being that World Cup cricket is coming around for our limited edition Mongay as your own, I decided to create this cocktail. So, I can start today we're using my mango. Everyone knows I'm a big fan of Caribbean fruit flavors. Going back to the roots. I step out the box, like I've say hit it for six today, and I begin using my rose petals. This syrup is a very interesting syrup. Created with red and white rose petals. Like the cricket ball in the day was red, and today now it's white. And everybody know they have to be a winner and a loser, so I have my lime juice. A little sour to upset the apple cart. And then I get to my star, my favorite rum. Everybody know I love Monge Ash or Old. Well, there is no way for Monge Ash Old. I will always be cricket in Barbados before Monge Ash or Old. And that's why we win. I have a limited edition we created just for cricket. And we're going to have two ounces of this because you know one ounce of Monge Ash Old is not having enough. Let me get my ice. As I decide to shake, I remember the grip by Lara as he hold his hands up, as he short the ball to the bone for four, and I give it a shake. I remember, I can't forget, when you walk down the crease on paddock. Lara, what finest. As I pour my cocktail, in remembering the great days when as a young slice so of go and watch the rest of these play, hoping they do something good this year for me. What more can a man wish for? To add a stand up and see the great West Indies lift the crown with the gold cup, so with the World Cup in Barbados. As I grow my phone. And last but not least, what should you wish for? For the crown in peace of a rose for the petals that we went through and tribulations to get to this fine point. And ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, my name is Dwayne Williams, better known as Mr. Bozo. As I was invited here to the Mount Gabriel as a saint to create this fine cocktail, I must tell you, please drink responsibly. Cause you know, when you start drinking this great cocktail, you can't stop.